I became a vinyl junkie probably in the neighborhood of around 15 years ago, something like that. Of course, uh, a lot of people remember you were active in starting Vinyl Record Day in 2002. Then you got involved in the Stamp Series campaign. Whatever happened with that? Well, I'm real pleased. Vinyl Record Day is the only nonprofit organization that's dedicated to the preservation of the recordings, the cultural influence, and the cover art of the vinyl record. It really is to preserve our, our audio history. And in 2008, I wrote a proposal that was accepted by the U.S. Post Office to issue a series of stamps to commemorate the contributions that the vinyl record has made, has had on our society. So I understand it takes a couple of years. In the acceptance letter that I received from them, they said that they get 50,000 requests a year. 50,000? 50, 50,000 requests a year. They issue 25 to 30 stamps a year. Most of the 50,000 get rejected. So the fact that they kept the proposal and it's under consideration was a big step. So is it still under consideration? Is it's, that the deal, Gary? Yeah, it's still in consideration. And on the website, vinylrecordday.org, I have a petition. And the petition is a gently nudge that hopefully with enough signatures, I could submit those to the Citizen Stamp Advisory Committee, which is the the committee that advises the post office on, on what themes to use, and show that there's widespread public support. I've got the, the acceptance from the post office, but now I want to go a step further. And what is the website, Gary? That's vinylrecordday.org. Vinylrecordday.org. Yeah, for the vinyl stamp petition. And I believe that one day I, that it will happen. I just hope that I'm around to see it.